this video, we are going to discuss about the signals hypothesis that is targeting of protein to the ER membrane. So, ribosome engaged in the synthesis of the protein are then targeted to the ER membrane by a signal sequence. And they, what is this signal sequence? It is a short stretch of the polypeptide about 20 to 35 amino acid long and present in the end terminus of the uh, growing polypeptide chain. So, SRP has two binding sites. SRP means signal recognition particle. Uh, uh, has two ends which uh, first bind with the poly uh, polypeptide chain and the other bind with the ribosome. So, SRP directs both the binding of the ribosome to the ER membrane. SRP present in the cy cytosol of the uh, sorry ER membrane. So, it directs both the binding of the ribosome to the ER membrane and then insertion of the nascent polypeptide uh, into the transmembrane channel. So, there is also a, another term that is 661 which is a translocone present in the membrane of the ER membrane has three com uh, has made up of three polypeptide that it that is uh, 661 alpha 661 beta and the 661 gamma so uh, sequence of the uh, during translation targeting of the secretory protein to the ER is the first a signal sequence emerges from the ribosome it is recognized and bound by the SRP then SRP binds with the ribosome to the SRP receptor and the insertion of the nascent polypeptide into the membrane Translation resumes and the growing polypeptide chain translocated across the membrane and the cleavage of the signal sequence by signal peptidase releases the polypeptide into the ER membrane. Signal peptidase also present uh, in the ER membrane. So, in this figure, uh, it, it is, it's a ribosome which has two subunits and there is a signal sequence in the la end terminus of the growing polypeptide chain. So, it binds to the SRP receptor. Uh, SRP is a signal recognition particle present in the cytosol. It's a uh, uh, bind with the SRP receptor that is uh, 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 that is visible in the green color. SRP receptor bind with the SRP has a GTP bound. So, uh, 661 translocone is present in the ER membrane and uh, it transfers the uh, signal sequence along with the purine polypeptide chain enter into the uh, ER cytosol region and then signal peptidase uh, which is the blue color. Uh, uh, cut the signal sequence and the nascent polypeptide chain enter into the cytosol. So, SRP is released and re uh, reused in the another cycle and GTP changes into the into G GTP. So, so, SRP is a signal recognition particle. A cytosolic particle binds to the signal sequence of a nascent polypeptide and in mammalian SRP known as the 7-SL-SCRNA. So, there are some terms that is signal sequence, it is a short stretch of the 15 to 35 amino acid long synthesized initially before the synthesis of the protein. It is present at the end terminus of the growing polypeptide chain. It contains six or more non-polar amino acid at its center. Signal peptidase cut the signal sequence and, and left the protein part. It is a transmembrane ER protein. So, all about the ER uh, targeting to the uh, ER membrane and the signal hypothesis. Thanks for watching.